Okay? A continuation of our discussion under Newton's Laws of Motion, illustration problem 3.2. A hockey puck having a mass of 0 0.3 kilograms slides on the frictionless horizontal surface of an ice rink. Two hockey stick strikes strike the pucks, puck simultaneously, exerting the forces on the puck as shown in figure 2.6. The force F1 has a magnitude of 5 Newton and is directed at an angle theta of 20 degrees below the positive x-axis. Uh, it is shown here in the given. Okay? The force 2 has a magnitude of 8 Newton and its direction P 60 degrees above the positive x-axis. Okay? Determine both magnitude and direction of the box acceleration. So the unknown is the magnitude, direction of the acceleration of the box. Okay. Now, considering the vector force 1, okay. So vector force 1 has a magnitude of 5 newtons and angle of 20 degrees below the positive x axis. So the x and y component of this one. Uh, based on the given force, the x component of this force might be along the positive x-axis and the y component of this force is below the y-axis. Okay? So there it goes. So using the formula F cosine theta for x component, FF sine theta for y component. For F1, F1x is F cosine 340 degrees. So why 340 degrees? Okay. F is force 1, which is 5, cosine 340 degrees. So I have used the positive x-axis direction of the angles from positive. So that is 360 degrees minus 20, you'll get 340 degrees. So solving that using your calculator, you'll get an answer of 4.70 newtons and for the x compo y component of the uh, force 1 force 1 is 5 sine 340 degrees okay and that gives you a negative 1.71 newton negative sign is the direction of the y component of f1 okay now for f2 okay based on the given 60 degrees so probably the y component and x component uh, lies along the positive axis okay so solving for the given uh, for x and y components of f2 so 8 cosine 60 degrees so from positive that's 60 degrees so you get an answer of 4 newtons and for y component of force 2 8, 8 sine 60 degrees so you'll get an answer of positive 6.93 newtons so summarizing the values you'll get x component for f1 uh, 5 newtons you'll get its x component as 4.70 newtons and its y is negative 1.71 newtons okay for f2 you'll get the uh, x component for newtons and its y component is 6.93 now summation of forces along the x 4.70 plus 4.4 will give you 8.70 newtons and for y component that is negative 1.71 plus 6.93 you'll get an answer of 5.22 newtons okay now uh, from the problem, we need to determine the magnitude and direction of the acceleration, okay? Now, we have summarized the uh, values of x and y components and its uh, forces, okay? Now, we can solve for acceleration using formula of force is equivalent to mass multiplied by acceleration using this formula you get the formula of acceleration that is equivalent to force all over mass so the mass of the puck is given as 0 0.3 kilograms okay so 
for the acceleration along x so acceleration along x this is acceleration based on the formula will be equal to force so acceleration along x you should use the force along x so that is force along x summation of forces along x is given 8.70 okay and its mass is 0 0.3 kilograms and you'll get an acceleration of 29 meters per second squared along x and for y so acceleration along y y components acceleration so summation of forces along y all over mass so 5.22 divided by 0 0.3 kilograms so you'll get an answer of 17.40 meter per second squared now the resultant uh, value or the magnitude of the acceleration will give you same formula okay uh, from the previous example that is uh, rf or resultant force will be equal to the summation of forces along x squared right plus summation of forces along y then squared same application okay so acceleration will be equal to the square root of uh, x component of the acceleration squared plus the y component of the acceleration squared will give you 29 squared plus 17.4 squared and simplifying that gives you a magnitude of 33.82 meter per second squared so this is this uh, magnitude of the acceleration now the angle solving for the angle or the direction of the acceleration using tangent theta will be equal to y all over x right so y all over x so acceleration y 17.40 and acceleration along x is 29 so that is dividing both sides by tangent you get an arc tan of 17.40 divided by 29 and you'll get an angle of 30.96 so verify that the angle is correct you should plot the x and y component on the cartesian plane so on the cartesian plane so that is x and that is y so probably your magnitude lies in between here along here so the angle 30 degrees satisfies the given figure okay so therefore the magnitude of the acceleration of the puck is 33.82 meter per second squared and its direction is 30.96 degrees from the positive x-axis.